Goldbra, what have you done? Wait, that's illegal. Gobby, please tell me this is not true. Tell me you are still my Gobby. Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Goldbrot once more. And, well, here we are with another episode. This is not from any kind of series I'm making, or, well, perhaps it could be for a new series in which I'm gonna be showing you guys how I actually make camas, how I level up my professions and get camas out of it because that's something I'm really good at. So, yep, that's basically what I'm gonna show you today. I'm sorry about that intro. I know it's a little bit dramatic, but <laughs> that's the way I am. Guys, um, I would also like to let you know that most of you are not subscribed to the channel, but you're watching the video. So please, if you really want to support me and help me out, you just need to go and subscribe. As you can see, only 33% of the people watching my country is actually subscribed. So please help me change this one. So first off, I just crafted a couple of potions because I saw that I could have a little bit of profit. These are the teleporting potions for Coliseum and for this treasure hunt. This is um, the price I actually sold them, but I needed to change it over the time because it was not selling. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that I started with this one and then I move on to a profit of 55,000 camas. Then um, I just crafted some of these ones because I had online crafting some pieces of gear. I went to the marketplace to buy some resources I didn't have because I wanted to craft some hats as well. Um, I basically was buying some resources, dropping some others to craft gear and then sell it in the market uh, at a reasonable price. So as you can see here, I sold these ones for almost 6.5 KK, which is acceptable. They used to be a little bit more pricey, but well, the prices dropped and I needed to change the strategy. Then I'm showing you here the consumables. So as you can see in the video, if you buy some bags at a good price and then you open them and you get the actual resource and you go to the resource market, you can actually get some good profit out of this. Of course, this is just for low level characters. It's not for super high level because it's, it's not that profitable. But, well, you need to start by something. So, as you can see here, I was selling them at a really, really good price. So, I, I bought 30 bags and I sold them for almost 18, which is a profit of 23,000 camas. Then, I remember that you need some helmets and wings to go to Moon Island. And I could craft these ones here at Astrup. So I sold them and I got a little bit of profit out of that as well. And actually I'm going to show you at the end of the video that I was doing this forever and I got really, really good cameras out of it. Then I wanted to level up miner and uh, I decided to polish some stones. So I started by polishing sapphires, 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 <laughs> sorry about that. I started by polishing this one. And I actually didn't get profit out of this. It was just an investment. I got some levels out of it and that's enough for me. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, I didn't lose because I got some experience out of that one. But I got 18,000 camas out of water. So as you can see, I was polishing them and I got almost 10 levels in minor. Here I'm selling them and I gotta tell you that uh, I I actually just lost like 20,000k or something like that. It was not that much. 
well that's it then i realized that i could actually polish other kind of stones to get some profit out of it like um diamonds rubies and stuff like that so that's exactly what i'm gonna show you right now here you can see i was researching on the mother of pearl because i found out they were like cheap enough so i polished them i just did like 100 and well let me tell you that i got profit out of this one so the stones in the water was like 108,000 kk and the profit's gonna be 71,000, which is really good and i also got some experience out of that one too then the next one to polish were the rubies they were not so expensive so i could manage to polish a lot of them as well as the diamonds these ones were actually expensive so i didn't polish more than 40 it was just 40 by that time and well the most expensive was the water i think as you can see here i just polished them and look at this one binary level 60 now oh yes sir yes sir <laughs> Woo! now for the rubies i spent like uh 100 and something and i doubled the price so the profit was on the screen and for the diamonds it was actually that'd be better i just spent like 130,000, and i sold them for 180 so it was like uh, 15,000. these are just some screenshots of the selling resources as you can see you can find that selling a lot of things is really profitable because you get like it's not really passive income but you get some really good money out of it and as you can see here i I now have more than 2 million camas and let me tell you that this was with no subscription at all. You can see it in the video that on the upper right corner there is the star that tells you that I'm not subscribed and also you can see here that I leveled up Carver to level 60 in the process of crafting Rikiki ones to sell them as well as I showed you in the previous video. Then I leveled up Jeweler to level 60. again crafting some uh, rings and amulets to sell as well as um, shoemaker same deal crafting crafting stuff to sell and tailor which was leveled up by crafting helmets and wooden wings so as I resume you can see here all the professions I've leveled up all the way to level 60 including um, carver, shoemaker, jeweler, miner, tailor. Um, I recently leveled up Fisher as well. So, yeah, it was a little bit difficult, but I could do it with n sorry with no subscription at all. Um, I would really like to encourage you to do the same to just give it a try because it might be sometimes a little bit difficult because of the bots and the competition, but it's very rewarding when you see that you're actually not spending money on the game before actually paying the subscription and you can actually get the subscription out of the game because with 2 million camas I'm now able to buy 2 weeks of, of subscription so it's like you could easily do this before actually spending real money but to be honest it's like 40 bucks a month just not a lot so that was it for the video guys uh, I hope you liked it and if you've really liked it don't forget to go and subscribe don't forget to go and comment what you think about this when you think about this format um, I know that I still need to get better at some things and that's why I'm here to to learn and to you know share some of my content with you so goodbye a hug